there is this phenomenon of extraterrestrials visiting, visiting this dimension in space ships with blazing lights uh, which and um, our mili- uh, the, the American military which is very advanced cannot even stop them and uh, their space uh, ships are so much advanced that uh, what we have here is just child's play. Uh, can it be? Can it be? Uh, can it be said that some of the uh, golden guides are having fun visiting this level in uh, in uh, spaceships? Uh, come as uh, UFOs. Can we say that? Or can we surmise that is so? Okay. Well, you brought it up, Charles. It sounds interesting. How do you see it? <laughs> Did they visit you yet, Charles? Have they? Uh, you know, it's uh, you know when it's like one or two o'clock in the morning, and you look out your window. There was an old movie called uh, "Visitors from Mars" or something, where this kid is looking out his back window, and it's a little bit stormy, and all of a sudden he sees a UFO crash, and it goes underground. Uh, it's interesting you bring this up. Uh, but, uh, you know, the the public has a huge marketing ploy to it, to where uh, it would seem to be that, uh, you know, most of the public is still thinking in terms, because they've been taught to think this way, uh, that there are possibly aliens out there or other life forms, when actually those other life forms <laughs> Are what is what has created the whole systems on this planet already, and so uh, yeah, it's a little bit in reverse. But again, it's marketing ploy in the military and all these people. They know all about these things. I knew people in the military, and one Phil I knew actually did some of my corporations, whatever tax stuff, and it's very aware. He worked. Uh, he was in the military. He was like a spy, like the Bourne guy, like. Uh, Matt Damien in the in the Bourne series, and he's like a secret agent, and he saw UFOs and all that, and they were just not to talk about them. In other words, uh, you want to keep the masses in control. That's the whole idea. Just like in the movie Men in Black, you're not to let the public know about what we're doing. Okay, so you just keep it hush hush. Besides, the public, they don't really want to know in their own way. Some do. Uh, most don't because they just want their personal life to keep going, which is understandable. Okay, it's fine. Everybody can have whatever they want. Everything is choice. But uh, it's prevalent through everything, Charles. It's just you have to learn to decide to want to see it. And a lot of people don't want to see it. And it's all okay. Uh, even with the aliens, the reptilians, whatever, uh, they're not all bad. Most of them, uh, you know, are probably very good people and uh, very good beings or whatever, uh, body types. But again, they've they've agreed to certain situations where they've gotten themselves in a lot of trouble and, and situa- problems and they uh, they have to deal with it. And this is why they're, uh, they have, uh, you know, infested with... Uh, uh, the so-called humans, whatever, all these different species, you know, there's a lot more to it. As you get into it, it's, it's like endless. But uh, it's like anything we have here, the different body types, elephants, zebras, uh, giraffes, fish, uh, you know, donkeys and sharks and seals and whatever. Uh, these are just different body types. Uh, the in, each individual is going through their experience. They make choices. Again, they're usually a product of their environment and what they've been brought up with. And so this is where, uh, like what Paul brought out or any of the guys, they try to bring something out. They try to get to uh, certain people uh, in certain areas like the earth here and whatever to uh, let them know that there's something else. Because, again, it's the view of the isness. The isness is into survival. And it's, it's like the is is the big daddy. And it sees all its children out there. It's the old story of the prodigal son. This was another uh, you know, parable that was created. And, and it's very true in its own way to rescue the individual to become more aware. So 
Yeah, the alien factor is interesting, but um, I'm for everyone. It's fine. But at the same time, just like uh, we did, uh, Claudia and I did three um, three little episodes on the Orion Queen and Inky and whatever. And if they're going to be knuckleheads, which they have for eons, uh, put them away in the Phantom Zone. Uh, because we don't need the disturbance, and they can just start over and try and figure it out again because they've accumulated so much. And so uh, um, there are a lot of people like this to where they've been around thousands and millions of lifetimes. And uh, it's always been here. This is how the planet began. Everybody's an alien, okay? So it's kind of funny. We have, uh, you know, I'm in California here, and people on the border lines of Arizona and Texas and whatever, we have Mexico right below. And it's kind of funny that we have all these different countries in the world instead of different areas. And uh, it's like the whole world discriminates uh, about the situation it's on. It's rather kind of humorous. And so we call these people that come across the border illegal aliens. Isn't that kind of funny? It's the same, uh, it's the same word uh, that is aliens from outer space. It's interesting where all these things came from and who decided it, the officialness. So we're a product of our environment, but we can decide to get through this and see the bigger picture and take on the adventure instead of being locked into our personal self and the ideas of it. And uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of people will discuss. Oh, gee, do you think there's life on other planets? That's a little bit funny, isn't it? You're on a planet too in uh, deep dark space, and I'm sure that uh, uh, individuals on other planets are uh, considering the same thing about you and you floating out there somewhere. So, learning to be a little more objective. So, it's a real adventure, isn't it, Charles? And so, uh, can you tell us about some of your alien friends? <laughs> I don't. I've never had any any close encounter with this with this phenomenon. So I don't know if it happens. Sure, it will be a, it will be a, an eye opener to me, and uh, just to see the the. Their craft and the light it emits uh, will be a treat for me. 